I'd like to now show you muscles of the throat. The first muscle that I am going to show you is this muscle over here. This is called the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Its origin is on the manubrium of the sternum as well as the clavicle and it inserts on the mastoid process. Remember, when muscles are named for their origins and insertions, the origin is, also, is always given first. The action of the sternocleidomastoid is individually each muscle can rotate the head to the opposite shoulder, but together they can flex the head. The next muscle I want to show you is this muscle in between the digastric muscles right here. That's the mylohyoid. Its origin is on the mandible and its insertion is on the hyoid bone and its action is to elevate the hyoid. The next muscle I want to show you are the right and left digastric muscles. Digastric means two bellies. This is the anterior belly. There is a posterior belly that is more deep in the cat. The digastric has its origin on the mandible and the mastoid process and it inserts by a connective tissue to the hyoid bone. Its action is to open the mouth and depress the mandible. The next muscle I'd like to show you is this long strappy muscle, you see we have cut it in the middle of the belly of this muscle, it's the sternohyoid. The sternohyoid has its origin on the manubrium and clavicle and inserts on the hyo hyoid bone. Its action is to depress the hyoid and the larynx. Two muscles, two smaller muscles deep to the sternohyoid can be identified This muscle down here that has also been cut in the belly, this is the sternothyroid. Its origin is on the manubrium and inserts on the thyroid cartilage. Its action is to pull the larynx and hyoid bone inferiorly. The last smaller muscle is up here. This is the sterno, sorry, excuse me, this is the thyrohyoid and the, th the thyroid hor thyrohyoid has its origin on the thyroid cartilage and inserts on the hyoid bone. Its action is to depress the hyoid or elevate the larynx.